everyone carries a different opinion when it comes to choosing the best places to live in the world. There are factors like happiness levels, overall financial stability, type of climate, life expectancy, education, gender equality, or financial wealth, which a person takes into the consideration to decides to move to another place. We made a complete list of top 10 best places to live in the world in 2020, as many of us dream about moving away to a foreign country. Number 10 is Norway. With a population of just over 5 million, Norway is an excellent place in Europe to call home and is a fantastic destination for young and growing families. Unlike other non-English speaking European countries, Norwegians can speak fluent English. It can create an initial impact as English is one of the widely speaking languages all around the world. The coastline of Norway is made up of thousands of miles of fjords, bays and island shores. Whether you are driving a car or taking a railway trip, the beautiful scenery which stretches for miles and miles is just stunning. This European country has a very high income rate with a vibrant private sector. Norway is known for its remarkable standard of living, which is one of the major attraction for expats. Also. The policies in Norway is very family friendly. Fathers can take up to 12 weeks paid leave during the first three years after a new baby's arrival. Schools in Norway covers all the bases in their education system and public education is also very inexpensive and high quality. The life expectancy of Norway is 81 which is higher than in most countries around the world. Number 9 is the Netherlands. The Netherlands is a European country situated in the northwestern part of Europe. Popularly known as Dutch. This European country has formed what has long been considered a tolerance society. The Netherlands also boasts the highest percentage of museums in the world. This densely populated nation connects more than 1,000 bridges and 20,000 miles of bike paths. When it comes to children's well-being and healthcare, the Netherlands is at the top of its game. In the 2013 UNICEF report, it has been found that Dutch children were ranked the happiest of all. The reason for the Netherlands to be at the top for expat families is because of its education system. The Netherlands has an excellent education system, which is made even easier for expat families to incorporate their child into this system. Childcare in this Dutch country is very affordable in relation to other countries. Dutch child benefit and childhood allowance is the reason why people have affordable childcare when it comes to working or studying within the Netherlands. Number 8 is Sweden. Sweden is one of the most beautiful countries to live in the world. Situated in the northern part of the Arctic Circle, the country isn't just a small nation. Sweden is blessed with beautiful scenery like dense forests, sprawling river valleys and frozen glaciers and the country has a very exotic lifestyle and rich culture. Sweden is heavily capitalistic with a large portion of spending going toward public service. Sweden is a highly industrialized country. Sweden's standard of living and purchasing power are among the highest in the world. In Sweden, Every citizen is guaranteed a minimum subsistence income and medical care. After World War II, social welfare legislation was introduced was greatly expanded immensely. Education is compulsory between ages 7 and 15 in Sweden and it's free of cost. In 1962, a nine-year comprehensive course was introduced. Swedes donate 1% of gross national product to humanitarian aid programs each year which makes them the world's most generous people. Over the time Swedish society saw a growing number of refugees, shows the diversification of the country. Almost 10% of the population is refugees. Number 7 is the United States of America. The United States is the world's greatest economic and military power. The nation's wealth is partly a reflection of its rich natural resources and its enormous agricultural output, but it owes more to the country's highly developed industry. Likewise, its cultural imprint spans the world, led in large part by its popular culture expressed in music, movies and television. The United States contains a highly diverse population and the country has a diversity that to a great degree has come from an immense and sustained global immigration. The country is also home to some of the top universities in the world, including Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Despite being the foremost global power, the U.S. still faces domestic challenges, including racial tensions, income inequality and an increasingly polarized electorate. Number 6 is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is a highly developed nation and the world's leading commercial, financial, and cultural centers. This island country located off the northwestern coast of mainland Europe, the United Kingdom comprises the whole of the island of Great Britain which contains England, Wales, and Scotland as well as the northern portion of the island of Ireland. The capital city, London, 
is a major international financial center and one of the most visited cities in the world. The banking and tourism industries are parts of a larger service sector that powers much of the nation's economic growth. The United Kingdom has made significant contributions to the world economy, especially in technology and industry and the country's most prominent exports have been cultural, including literature, theater, film, television, and popular music. The United Kingdom is also home to some of the top universities in the world, including Oxford, Cambridge, and Imperial College London. The United Kingdom has attracted immigrants for centuries. Even though immigration has become a major focus of public debate in the 21st century. Number 5 is Australia. Australia, the smallest continent and one of the largest countries on Earth, lying between the Pacific and Indian Oceans in the Southern Hemisphere. Australia has a temperate climate with mild winters and warms to hot summers. The north of Australia is tropical and the south is cool in winter and hot and dry in summer. There's no doubt that Australians enjoy high quality of life, with plenty of fresh air, low pollution levels, and a low population in a vast country of superb natural landscapes and breathtaking scenery. Many choose to make Australia their home simply for the beauty of the place. The country is considered a wealthy nation with a market-based economy that has a comparatively high gross domestic product and per capita income. Its economy is driven by the service sector and the export of commodities. Sport in Australia is something of a national obsession and participation rates are high when compared globally. It boasts a comparatively high life expectancy for both females and males. The standard of education is excellent with great government and private schools and a wide range of tertiary institutions to choose from. Schooling is compulsory from the age of 5 to 16. Australia is praised by the United Nations for its emphasis on education and the importance of going to school. Work-life balance is an art form many Australians have perfected. Family picnics and gatherings, parties, and a day at the beach are all essential parts of the Australian way of life. Australians are blessed with fresh produce and there are many wonderful restaurants, wineries and markets to enjoy. Number 4 is Germany. Germany, one of Europe's largest countries, possesses one of the largest economies in the world and has seen its role in the international community grow steadily since reunification. The country has the largest number of borders of any country in the European Union. It means you can jump on a bus or train and before you know it, in comparison with other countries within the Western world, Germany is pretty cheap to live in. If we talk about outdoor, the land of Germany offers the snow-covered peaks of the Alps in the south, to the pristine sands of the beaches in the north. Germany has more than its fair share of breathtaking views. In the world market, Germany has a workforce of high skills, less corruption, a high degree of innovation and large capital stock. Germany is clearly the place for you. Services, which include industries such as telecommunications, healthcare and tourism, contribute the greatest amount to the country's economy. Germany is also one of the world's most popular migration destination. Number 3 is Japan. Japan, one of the world's most literate and technically advanced countries. It is an island country lying off the east coast of Asia. It consists of a great string of islands in the northeast southwest arc to the western North Pacific Ocean. Japan is a very clean country. People in Japan are great at recycling. Instead of tossing trash street side, most recycle their trash, leaving the streets clean and beautiful. The country's roughly 126 million people lead a distinctly urban lifestyle. Long culturally influenced by its neighbors, today the country blends its ancient traditions with aspects of Western life. Japan is known worldwide for its traditional arts, including tea ceremonies, calligraphy and flower arranging. All residents of Japan are required by the law to have health insurance coverage. In Japan, harmony is very important. Japanese people follow rules and try to avoid conflicts as much as possible. They are very harmonious and very disciplined. The crime rate in Japan is relatively low. Japan is rich with deep historic culture, excellent cuisine, and fantastic people. Number 2 is Canada. Canada is the second largest country in the world in terms of area, occupying roughly the northern two-fifths of the continent of North America. Canada is one of the safest places to live in. Lower crime rates, a peaceful political government and low military action mean that Canada has become a mainstay for peaceful living. Also, there are other positive factors like high rate of life satisfaction, unique old age pension programs and the mostly free healthcare system which makes Canada, one of the best countries to live in the world. It values education and has long ensured all young citizens have access to the best schooling available no matter what their background. More than half of its residents graduate from college. Canada forms part of the strongest economies of the world thanks to its growing industries in technology, aerospace development, agriculture and industrial production. From ice-bound Arctic tundra and snow-sprinkled peaks to sparkling lakes and best woodlands, 
Canada can take your breath away at every turn. Number 1 is Switzerland. Switzerland is a federated country of Central Europe. Made up of 16,000 square miles of glacier-carved Alps, lakes and valleys, it's one of the world's wealthiest countries and has been well known for centuries for its neutrality. Switzerland has low unemployment, a skilled labor force and one of the highest gross domestic products per capita in the world. Wages in Switzerland are very high, on the other hand, taxes are relatively lower. Switzerland boasts one of the best educational systems in the world. They have 12 universities and 7 higher educational institutions of applied sciences within the different regions of Switzerland. The life expectancy of Switzerland is very high, 79 years for men and 84 years for women, showing they have a quality healthcare system. Switzerland is a very multinational country which is open to foreigners. Currently, more than 20% of the population is made up of resident and temporary foreign workers. The scenery in Switzerland has a lot to offer those moving there. It is famous for its dramatic mountains and calm lakes. The temperature does vary from different locations and tends to be warmer in the south and cooler in the north. Also, Switzerland tops the list as the cleanest country in the world. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe this channel. Don't forget to comment. Bye for now.